they're letting you out of the hospital the same day, which I know not everybody has, but I think if you're treated in the morning, you can go home in the afternoon or late early evening. It can't be that big a deal if they're letting you go yeah. home the same day. So yeah, that yeah, was quite that a big okay. thing for us, yeah. wasn't it? I was elated. Firstly, because it was nice not to stay in hospital. And secondly, it was my son's birthday the next day. When you arrive on the ward, you will be welcomed by the ward staff who will welcome you to the admissions ward. You will be based here while waiting for your operation. The person who brought you to the hospital is welcome to bring you to the ward, but due to limited space, it is not possible for them to wait in the waiting area with you without prior arrangements. The waiting area has been designated a single sex room for the comfort of patients. If you need anything, you just sit the desk. Hello. Hi, how are you? You will meet your surgeon before your operation. If you have any questions about your surgery, then please feel free to ask your surgeon at this time. Your surgeon will check that you have signed a consent form for your operation. You will usually have signed this ahead of time in the clinic. Your surgeon will check information in your medical notes and will also ask you to confirm which side is to be operated on and will draw an arrow and write the operation name on your skin near the site of your surgery using a marker pen. This pen mark will be looked at and checked once you are in the anaesthetic room and in the operating theatre and forms part of our safety checks. You will meet your anaesthetist before your operation. The anaesthetist will ask you some questions about your general health, medications, allergies, and if you have had any previous anaesthetics. They will ask you about your teeth, whether you have any loose teeth caps or crowns, and ask you to open your mouth to help them plan the anaesthetic. They will explain a little bit about the procedure for your anaesthetic and pain relief. Please ask any questions if you have any. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm feeling okay about everything. You will meet a nurse who will be looking after you before your operation. They will check your details with you and complete a series of safety questions which will be used as part of our safety checks once you are in theatre. They will also check with you when you last ate and drank. They will check your blood pressure, heart rate and oxygen level. They will put an identity band on your wrist and if you have any allergies, then this will be written on a wristband, which will also be placed on your wrist. They will give you some information about the ward and what will happen during your stay. They will measure you for stockings, which you will wear after your operation to reduce the risk of clots in your legs. You may not need to put these on before the operation, as we use a calf compression device called Flotrons in theatre. As soon as the Flotrons are removed, we will ask you to put the stockings on. You will be given instructions about how to put the stockings on, and you will also be given instructions on how to fasten your gown. The gown fastens at the back, and if you have difficulty tying this yourself, please ask one of the ward staff for some assistance. We would advise you to wear a warm dressing gown over your hospital gown, and can provide you with a blanket if you feel cold. It is important to keep warm before your operation, as it has been found that having a normal body temperature helps with wound healing and recovery.